Hello, what a wonderful day to every one of you. I am so happy again to be back, you know, and share to you our our verse, you know, um, our verse for the day. You know, alam nyo, uh, uh, this week nakita nyo naman, actually last week we had some uh, really challenging week because of the super typhoon Karina na, na flood po talaga ang aking ano, aming house here dito sa, sa QC to those of you na na blood na, na, na share ko to sa inyo no? and in my personal uh, page ano, post ano? So, but like I said you know God wants every one of us to just continue what we're doing and let's continue so today we're going to share to you a verse coming from Isaiah 40 verse 31. Actually, this one's a, a, a gift to me. So, during the, no, it was in my, in front, this was in front of my monitor, uh, computer monitor. And then, every time I look at it, I, re- I was rema- reminded that those who trust in the Lord, so I already told Isaiah 40 31, those who trust in the Lord will rise up on wings like an eagle. Actually, itong verse 40, 31, ano, ang, ang ito, those who trust in the law will renew their strength. No, they will soar like wings of an eagle. Yan ang pinakabuo niya. Ano. So, uh, ang napakahalaga na ang source ng ating strength ay ang Diyos. Kasi po, totoo po yun, uh, mahirap lumipad sa buhay o lumakad o magtuloy-tuloy kung ikaw ay walang lakas. Reminded na ang strength na dapat na gagawin natin ay hindi yung sarili nating lakas, kundi yung lakas lamang na gagaling sa Panginoon. And when we, sabi nga natin, when we use the strength of God, nalun niya po ba, sabi niya, we will soar like wings of an eagle. Ano ba yung wings ng eagle? Ang wings ng eagle, alam niyo po ba, it soars above the storm. Ayan, grabe mo, ano? Ayan ang klaseng lakas ng eagle. Ano? So, ibig sabihin, kaya niya, kasi po, alam niyo, ang storm po, lakas ng storm nakabase sa lakas ng hangin. Hindi po talaga sa lakas ng ulan, sa lakas ng hangin. So, ibig sabihin, pag malakas ang hangin, napakahirap lumipan, di ba po, sa isang, ano, sa isang ibon. Kaya, ibang ibon talaga hindi lumalabas. But, it, but what's unique and different to an eagle is, ano, he can fly even in the midst of storm and not only even in the midst of the storm, above the storm. Okay, ibig sabihin, nalalagpasan niya. So this is what God wants to, to be reminded to every one of us. Alam ko na storm tayo here, to those of you who are here in the Philippines, and to those of you may mga storms kayo sa buhay, wherever you are, whatever nations and country you have, may mga storms kayo sa buhay. I see a 40 verse 31 reminded us to, 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 to trust in the Lord. Sabi nga, those who trust in the Lord will renew their strength. Sino sa inyo pagod na? Trust in the Lord. Sino sa inyo hindi na makalipad, makalakad? Trust in the Lord. And then sabi niya, God will be your strength and we will again soar above the storm. Amen? So again, God bless you everyone. I know, keep, I don't keep um, continuing serving the Lord. And I would like to pray for some of you na nandito ngayon. Let's have a very short prayer and, and let's pray. God, we thank you Lord for your word today. I pray God, that every one of us is tired, who is weary, who is burdened, who is Lord, oh God. Ayaw na makamove sa buhay, hindi na makamove forward, I pray. Renew their trust in you, in you. I pray for a new level of faith in their hearts and in their mind and in their spirit. And Lord, again, depend, Lord, oh God, upon you. It's like you promised, Lord, you're going to renew our strength, Lord, as we trust in you. And we will soar above challenges in all our struggles and burdens in life. Again, Lord, we commit that into your hand. We believe that you're going to do, Lord, O oh God, as you said in your word. And we will, we will indeed, Lord, O oh God, again, stand up and move forward to the purposes and to the will and to your calling, O oh God, to your will in our lives. Again, we thank you. This is we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.